You ready? Okay, guys, today we're going to be looking at uh, projectile motion uh, with a cannon example. La um, yesterday we looked at one where we shot something horizontally. Um, yesterday's example would be uh, like uh, maybe airlifting something in and you are dropping a torpedo out of a plane where you're flying horizontally and you just drop it. Okay, in this case though, we're going to launch some, something not only in the X direction velocity initially, but in the, both the X and the Y. Okay, so this is kind of a classic ballistics. If you're shooting at people with a cannon, you got to understand this stuff if you want to hit them. Okay, and, uh, but in, in order to keep it a little bit more benign, we're going to shoot a clamp um, out of a cannon, a ground level cannon at 32 meters per second, which uh, I don't know, that's about 70 miles an hour. And um, we're going to shoot it 30 degrees above the horizon. Okay? How long will the clown be in the air? Will be airborne. Is that with an E at the end of that? I was, how do you spell airborne? Oh, that's right. Is that right? Okay, I wasn't sure. They were going to put a question mark. How far down range will she land? I made, I made it a girl clown. And what is the highest wall she could clear? Okay? So if we look at the example, here's the clown. Let's give it some hair. Okay? We're going to shoot her out. She's going to fly through the air and she's going to land somewhere. How far down range is she going to land? How long is she going to be in the air? And if we had to shoot her over a wall, what's the highest wall that she can make it on? Okay, does that kind of make sense? Okay. Now, if we break this down, guys, initially, this V naught at 32 meters per second, we can break that into an X component and a Y component. Okay? V naught X is going to be cosine, because this is the adjacent side, 30, 30 degrees times 32, which comes out of an initial X velocity of 27.7128 meters per second. In the Y direction, since we're opposite, we got sine 30 times 32. Sine of 30 is half, so we get 16 meters per second. So V naught Y is 16 meters per second up. Okay. Now, guys, this component is going to carry us down range. This component is going to tell us how long we are going to be in the air. Everybody see that? Okay. Now, if we want to attack question A, how long will the clown be in the air, we write down the things that we know. V naught Y is 16 meters per second. AY is negative 9.8. Now, notice those are opposite in sign because initially we're getting launched up, upward. Acceleration due to gravity is pulling in the opposite direction, so they have to have opposite signs. That's pretty important that you get that. Okay. Our, what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it into two sections here. At this point, right at the top, what is my velocity in the Y direction? It is stopped, right? Now we're still accelerating the whole time, but we've stopped for an instant and then we start um, getting a negative velocity because we're going to be heading downward, right? So if I can go from here to here, that would give me my time up, and then I could multiply my time up by two, and that would give me my total time, right? Okay, so if we look here, you can see I, my V naught Y at the top is zero, and that will give us our time up. We use the kinematic equation, V Y equals V naught Y plus <coughs> A Y T, and notice I put T up just to indicate that it's time up. V naught y at the top, or VY at the top is 0. <clears throat> v naught y is 16, negative 9.8. We plug those in, and we divide by 9.8. We get time up is 1.63265 seconds. That's the time it takes to go from here up to here. So to find total time, I think you guys see it's pretty simple. We just multiply by 2 because we know that time up equals time down, right? Okay. So you'll see I did that right here, time up times 2. That times 2 is 3.26531 seconds. Okay? That's how long the clown is going to be in the air. While you're like, ooh, watching it, right? Okay? Now, you know what we probably should do? Let's, let's have some fun with the clown. Let's put a big swimming pool right there. Or a big ch um, pool of those foam chunks so the clown doesn't get hurt. All right? Now, does that make sense, how long she's going to be in the air? Okay. Now, I think this is an easy problem when you get to this point. All the time that she's in the air, how fast is she going in the X direction? 
not 32. Because that was at an angle, right? She's going 27 because that's the X component. Does everybody see that? So we come over here. The velocity in the X direction is constant. So we just take the position divided by the, the change of position divided by the change in time. We can rearrange that. It's really the distance is equal to your velocity times time. And our velocity in the x direction was that. And we were in the air for that long. Dimensional analysis, we cross out the seconds, leaves us with meters. So that clown flew 90.491 meters. Pretty close to the length of a football field. Okay. So that would be kind of cool to see. But guys, the time is pretty easy. Time up times 2. Multiply that by your x velocity gives you your x distance. Okay? Now when we get to the tennis ball lab where you guys are trying to hit me with the tennis ball, this stuff's going to be pretty important. Okay? And the very last step here, guys, was what is the highest wall she could clear? And guys, this one is real, real, real simple. We did this when we did gravity problems. We know our initial velocity is 16. We know our AY is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. Our, v not, our VY is 0. So we plug in to that equation. Simply solve for the Y. And the highest wall that she could clear is 13.061 meters. Okay. Thank you.